Hello guys, um, today we're going to talk about the episode Teacher's Pet. Um, this episode aired on May 16th, 1995. It has a 6.1 out of 10 on IMDb with about 100-ish user votes. It stars uh, Michelle Rizzi, who this, this is really the only thing she's been in. She's been in a few other stuff, but unfortunately she died in 1990. She, she died at 16 after this a little bit after this episode from, I think it was, oh, I wish I could remember. I just looked it up. I think it was either meningitis or a car accident. I'm sorry, I, please, please find that out. But yeah, either way, she tragically died. And it, really a shame. And the episode has a tribute to her after the episode. But yeah, and, and yeah, it's a shame because she was actually pretty good in this episode. I enjoyed her a lot. Um, and also stars, uh, Telmo Miranda, who was in, a uh, uh, Tracker, uh, TV, a very, actually, pretty highly rated series called Tracker, short series, and it was directed by, uh, Stefan Scalini, who did, a uh, Ride. Um, unfortunately, the episode isn't... A bad episode. I mean, it's a it's not a good episode. Uh, it's based on a short story. I I do remember the short story very well, and I have to say, the short story was a bit better. They changed the biggest change in in this really overall is just the location, and in all honesty, I think that was kind of a mistake. And I the biggest reason I say that is because I feel like I feel like the woods location has been done to death. And I think it would have benefit more with a more something different and something more truer to the story. Now, all right, the pro biggest problem with the story is the special effects. The special effects really suck in this episode. I mean, and what they fight against, I just feel like it's just it's just not worth it. It's just it. I mean, in hindsight, what they fight against is. You know, something a person would be scared of normally, but this is this is fucking goosebumps. You gotta step it up a bit, and they really don't. Now, acting wise, it's actually pretty solid. Acting isn't the weakness of the episode, um, by any means, especially the main two kids. And I wish, I wish, uh, Tal Talmo was in more stuff. Um, I do know. I have seen that he has composed for quite a few projects, so maybe that's the route he liked to go toward. Now, for Rizzy, unfortunately, it, it is a shame that she passed away, but I have to say that, that oh man, she was very, she was pretty, pretty good in this episode. I enjoyed her a lot, like I said, and yeah, it's, it's a shame, but everyone else plays their characters fine. Um, score, it's not anything really memorable as far as I'm concerned. Um, cinematography, I will give them credit. They do try to, they tr do try to get, try some decent cinematography in this episode with some alright camera angles. They tried, but I just think the biggest problem with the episode is that what they're, the, the object of fear isn't really strong. And... It should have been different. Even if this story took place in the woods, it still could have been, in my opinion, a bit more... The objects of fear, I think, should have been a bit different. And I just don't... It's just not good. And especially the end. The last shot of the episode really, really dates, dates it. And it really makes... It really kind of leaves kind of a bitter... A really cheesy, bitter taste in the mouth, and ugh, CGI is very bad. And th there's, I mean, there's a barely an excuse for practical effects. I mean, that's really the downfall of the episode is the fact that what we're supposed to be afraid of isn't really scary. And I'll give credit to the actors; they really tried, and maybe the rest of the crew too, but. The story, I think, should have been more like... And here's the thing, the short story it could be perfectly adapted for a 20-minute story. Perfectly. I could see it right in the front. I can see it right now, how they could have done it. But they went a different route, and I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like, it feel, I feel like it's just too... 
it just feels like been there, done that. And it, and there, and it just doesn't, and there's just, it kind of leaves you asking one too many questions. And in the short story, you don't, it makes a lot more sense how think, how characters do this and that. And in this one, it really doesn't. And a lot of the fault is really the choice for the location of the story. But overall, Michelle Rizzi, thank you for performing this one. It's, you, you, you've done a good job. I'll keep an eye out for your other other acting works. I know you weren't in a lot, but if I if I catch you in something, I'll, I'll check you out. I'll check it out. And overall, should you watch this episode? Well, if you're curious on what I'm talking about in terms of Michelle Rizzi and the acting, by all means, check it out. But if you take out her, it's really nothing spectacular. Which is kind of a shame because I feel like they're I feel like the actor the main actors at least really tried, but it's just it's just not good. It really isn't. I say unless you're curious on Michelle Rizzi, you want check it out for Michelle Rizzi alone, but take take that out. I say skip it. This the season should it and, and this is the thing, this is the last twenty minute episode. Of goosebump, of goosebumps. Next would be talking about uh, season four. Sorry, I got should write, should have wrote, wrote that down. And it's a season finale for season three, so it, it's not really anything anything really spectacular, which is a shame. But um, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Uh. Please subscribe and like the videos, and uh, tomorrow, we're getting close to the end. Season 4 is next, and oh man. <laughs> but yeah, um, thanks for watching, and have a good day.